for now reporting. Today we're reacting to DJ NVR's talks about Kevin Samuels on, I guess, the Breakfast Club radio thing. But no long talk, no more like, comment, subscribe as always, and let's get straight into it. Karen, I'm from Ohio. Oh boy, Karen, another Karen on the line. Oh, I'm not one of them kind. I'm just messing with you, Karen. Go ahead. Who you want to give donkey to? <laughs> I want to give my donkey to Kevin Samuels. Can I tell you why? Woo! Sure, go yes. Ahead. I think that he openly degrades black women and he preys on their insecurities that have been given to them in previous relationships yeah. and their naiveness. And come on, he gives the weedy a sick. Dr. Omar spoke on him. On all that, he deserves donkey of the day. Yeah, I, I think he's lame. I, I I do think he's lame. So he deserves donkey of the day because he gives Saudi a sick. But the thing I don't understand Who are is you? that's the thing. But the thing is, which why I don't understand is why why do women keep going to him? what? Like that's what I don't understand. Like I said, he plays on their insecurities that he, they've been given in previous relationships and their naiveness. Yeah, because he, he looks yeah. about. It seems like it seems like he hates women. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it does. I mean, he used to hang around the Hermes store and try to get clientele. You know, just to try to get people. And he used to wear, you know, dress up and stand outside the stores and try to talk to people. I seen him actually a couple times. It's funny. Um, but in Atlanta, but I mean, I don't know why women what? still still hey, go to back, yeah. back up, back up. He said that's so people. He said hang out outside the Hermes. Yeah, he used to try to hang outside the stores to try to get businesses. So he was hang outside the Hermes store and look for you know, uh, I guess people with a little bit of money and try to talk to him and try to be a stylist or whatever he was trying to do. I see him out there once or twice. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. That's weird. My salesperson from the Hermes store had to remind me, like, you don't remember him? He was the one that was outside the store. I'm like, that was him. Yeah, but he's lame. I, I don't I don't respect the fact that he sits there and rates women. Oh, this one's a two and this one's a four. And yeah. Ma, you look ugly. Yeah. Ma, you're fat. Yeah. Like, it's just, it's, 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 a woman must have hurt him. I, I don't know. The thing about it is, you don't have to agree with what he says, but then you don't have to watch him neither. Like, if you're really on your purpose and you're doing this thing, you ain't really checking on no next guy or, you know, where they are woman on mine. You ain't really... I think that these women are hurt, and she sounded like a person who actually went on this show and got rated, and you know, he did his thing on her, he shit it on her, obviously, I think, but you know, I think she came to the breakfast club just to, uh, you know, do a thing, to try to make people, to let people have a situation and make her feel better about herself, but you know, uh, DJ Ivy went too far with all the he was outside and trying to make him look like a small boy, like, no, no real man really does that. Like, dog, you get how you live, you know? I don't know. But DJ Envy from the beginning was like, he was trying to go with the sisters. You know how those guys, they'll do anything for the, you know, for the good. They'll say any garbage for the good. And he strikes me as that guy, because he don't really seem masculine to me. I'm going to be honest. From how he talks, you know? But, I don't know. My thing about it is if you really was on your purpose, if you was doing this thing, you wouldn't even work with a guy like him. Like, think about it. Like, some people don't even know who Kevin Samuels is. And my thing about it is if you don't, if you don't like him rating people, why are you watching him? And why is he going on the show? Like, if you don't like it, don't watch it. Don't even know. But I don't know. It's really crazy because people like to shit on him. But all they got to do is just don't watch him. Like, dog. There are so many other YouTube channels like this one. Remember to subscribe. Gotta plug myself. But hope you like this video. Remember to like on and subscribe if you think. If I say it for a second, done. We'll see you in the next one.